So I'm recording a roast of some Yirgachev Jadio that I got from uh, Mill City Roasters, thanks to Bowl Java. And uh, at the moment, I'm just waiting for the uh, temperature to get high enough. I load the beans when I get to an ET of about 325, so I'll be hearing my audible reminder momentarily from Artisan. So as you can see from the curves. Load beans in five degrees. Load beans in five degrees. So I was saying I have this thing set up to auto start at uh, 200 degrees, so it's pretty much following the curves from previous roasts. And now I load them. Normally Artisan does not auto detect the charge, but oh my goodness, it actually worked this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my axes. So I don't really care about seeing anything before I had any beans in there. So for this particular bean, it takes about four and a half minutes to get to uh, the end of drying which based on my thermocouples, which read about 20 degrees low, will be around 280 based on my thermocouples. So I guess I'm gonna sit here and stare at the screen for a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording for now, and when it gets more interesting, I'll record again. So the, uh, Artisan software up here indicates that my end of drying is going to be around four and a half minutes, so I restarted the recording. I realized I've got a whole lot of excess space over here that I'm not really going to need. I know this roast is typically ten and a half minutes, so I'll change this to 13 to stretch it out a little. Check setting for very at voltage. Check setting for very at voltage. So that's my reminder that I'm very close to end of drying, then you can see an event occur down here, that's when I actually record it. So that's at 4.35, it's exactly the same time as my prior roast. And I have my usual changing the fan to 25% and the power to 90, that's pretty much routine for all of these roasts. Very unusual beans, I might do something different. So now I have a couple of minutes or a minute and a half until I get to the next change, which is when I get within 40 degrees of first crack, that's going to be at about a bean temperature of 325. So all of this changes and stuff is automated using this artisan software, which makes my life significantly interesting, or excuse me, less difficult. It used to be a little too complicated to do roasts where I was constantly fiddling with the fan and the heat and everything else. With Artisan, I can have it do it for me, which is simply wonderful. It's nice also that it gives you these audible reminders of things. So when I was and will have to do certain things manually, like when I write down the times of some of these events, that's what I use those audible alarms for. Oh, and I guess it's uh, also time to go ahead and adjust the axes and zoom in a bit. Oh, there we go. 620. Again, exactly the same timing of the roast as I had back on May the 2nd. Check setting for very at voltage. Check setting for very at voltage. So I already did that. I'm going to turn on my Delta BT curve just for fun. It's always fun to look at. You know, you never want to see anything weird going on compared to last time. 
So for this particular roast, I'm actually going to reduce the power. Well, I have reduced the power to 80%, bumped up the fan to 50 here. And that's up until first crack. At first crack, I drop it to 50% power, and then I actually turn everything off, the fan and the heat, at 30 seconds into the roast. And then I basically just let it glide. This is one of those roasts where it has enough momentum where I don't have to do anything. You can see my... Uh, Last time's rate of rise, it flattens out right around 10, and there's no need to apply heat after first crack, really. The first crack with this bean is about 350, excuse me, 364, so I'm going to get my audible announcement momentarily. You can see I haven't had to adjust the background curve this time first at all. First crack in 5 degrees. First it crack in 5 degrees. Virtually on the same track as it was last roast from two months ago. So I'm gonna get ready to click the old first crack thing in here. All right, 365, so it's one degree different than last Check time. Check setting for variant voltage. Check setting for variant voltage. And I start a timer and record the uh, bean temperatures every 30 seconds just to have a manual record as well as the visual record. I can see that you know, the roast is pretty much proceeding like last time. Uh, it's actually gone a little faster than it did last time. I got up to 373, so. And at this point, everything's turned off, so the heat and the fan are zero now, and this is just coasting. I've roasted this bean several times, and it's wonderful, both for coffee and uh, drip coffee and espresso. So on those beeps you might have heard in the background, that was uh, the hot top making sure I was still sitting here so I could push a button and keep things working. I've heard people complain about the Beamer that it doesn't beep at you when it wants you to push the button and there's been tons of people who've been bitten by that with the new control panel. You know, it's that good old safety feature. I think I'm going to do what I usually do, which is to smooth out my uh, Delta BT curve just because I can. Turn it back on again now. So this roast is progressing just a little bit faster than last time. I typically drop it 2 minutes and 15 seconds after first crack or um, 25 degrees above the first crack temperature, which is going to be 390, so I'm almost there. Let's hit 388 at 2 minutes, so I'm going to be dropping momentarily. Actually, it looks like it's going to be just about exactly on time at 2.15. So, boom, we've ejected the beam. And then I turn it off, and I'll guesstimate that my first crack ended about there. And I hit A to autosave, remove the uh, Arduino USB connection. I go back and change my axes so everything is visible. So, you can see, looks like maybe if I change this to 11.15, that'll be enough display. So this shows how amazingly consistent these two roasts were. So the old roast, you can't even see the old BT curve because it's so close. That was on May the 2nd. And now I'm roasting this in much hotter weather, July 25th, and uh, it's just totally consistent. So the other thing I'll do is to clean up these events. That's my standard deal here. I get rid of this spurious event that I throw in, and then at the end, 
leave those at zeros. There's you know, that funny looking spike there. That's not something I do. That's kind of automatic in the profile when the uh, roast ends. So that's it. A for autosave and, and stop the recording.